Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the chance to even come to you in prayer, Father, knowing that you are listening, knowing that you care, Father, but as the word says, knowing that you have already moved on behalf of this prayer. Father, specifically, we come to you now that our church would eagerly seek you and know that we are in you, Father. As Pastor said, Lord, let our pursuit for you be like never before. And Father, to give us a holistic picture, Father, help us to embrace the uncomfortableness that comes with sitting in your presence without speaking, Father, that we may hear from you. Let us change our schedules, Lord, that we can have time to spend time in the word, Father. But also let us seek community within the church, Father, for it is impossible for us to love you who we have not seen and not love our brother and sister who we have seen, Father. So thank you, Lord, for calling us out of isolated relationships with God, instead into discipleship relationships that we may know you as well in those, also into communal relationships, Father, for all of this is what it looks like to walk with you, Father. We cannot walk with you without walking with each other, Lord. Lord, increase our hunger and thirst for fasting, Father, that we can turn down our plate, turn down things that are comfortable to us because we want to be with you, God. Allow us to turn down some of the things that we naturally desire for hobbies because they're taking our time up, Father. Allow us to see how our day is set up, to see where are you, Father, in our day. The most valuable thing that we have, God, is our time, Lord. So I pray that you give us stewardship for how we will spend our time, God, that we may spend more time with you. Father, I pray that your love also overtakes our finances, God. How are we using our finances currently, Lord, and how would you prefer that we use those finances, God? The best way for us to know you, Lord, is to be obedient to you, Father, and dependent on you, God. So, Lord, while the prayer might sound difficult, Father, I thank you that you will be with us. You will give us the strength, God. But ultimately, Lord, we just want to be obedient to you, Lord, as we seek you out, Father. It is an action thing. We won't sit and wait to be uh, pursuing you better, Lord, but we will take action steps. And my prayer is, Lord, as you show us what those steps are, that we just trust you and take the first step, God. As we take the first, you give us a second step, God, and we take that second step, God. But let it not be out of obligation, Lord, but let it be for love, Father. Because we love you, we're willing to do things differently. And I thank you, Lord, that you will always increase us as you see fit. And as we are increased by you, by being obedient to you, Lord, we will have more of an impact on those around us, all while getting to know you more, Lord, and loving you more, and therefore being more obedient to you, Lord. Help us to see that relationship, God, of as we love you, we are obedient. And as we love you more, we are more obedient, Father. Let us not just read the Bible just to know more scriptures, Lord, but let us read the Bible to know you. Finally, Lord, help us to remember that growing things change and changing things grow, Father. If we want to grow, we've got to do something differently, Lord. Give us the strength to change for you, God. No matter what that looks like, no matter what that feels like, God, allow us to trust you as we worship you in community, Father. It is not a personal thing, an individual thing. Instead, Lord, let us reach out for prayer. Let us reach out to be prayed for, Father. For I know that you are stressing these things early in the rear for a reason, God. So let our church grow together as we grow upward. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.